I know you all must be definitely very happy after finishing your first year university exams and eager at the same time to commence with your second year course and explore new subjects. So second year MBBS is the time when all the basic knowledge that you have gained in your first year MBBS comes into application, comes into life. With understanding the pathology of various disorders to understanding about the drugs used in their treatment and learning about various bacteria, viruses, fungi which cause various disorder in human beings, second year MBBS is a vast, vast course. So with four subjects and a huge number of textbooks, online resources and application, it becomes really very difficult to decide the good from the bad. So hey everyone, my name is Ajinkya and I am a second year MBBS student at LTMMC Mumbai. Welcome to Medseed MBBS. So with my university exam up there in two and a half months from now, I decided this would be the best time to come up with a video in which I'll cover all the textbooks, online resources and applications that I have used in the course of this complete year. I have tried and tested many resources, many textbooks and some were extremely good and helped me a lot while others didn't. So for this video, I have shortlisted up the best textbook for all the four subjects and for the resources part in which I'll talk about Marrow, Dams, Prepladder, Sketchy, etc, etc. I'll cover up an entirely different video for that part. So stay tuned on the channel and please do subscribe if you haven't done it already. So the outline of this video is very simple. I'll cover the books in four categories. First category involving the standard books, the must have books. Second category dealing with the exam oriented books, the books which will help you to score good grades for the exams. Third category involving the review books. The books which you can practice through, which houses many MCQs and clinical questions. And fourth are the extra readings. If you wish to do, if you wish to cover a subject more than it is given in the normal books, then the extra readings. Before starting, I would like to tell you that I have linked all the books which I'll talk about in this video in the description. And a very small amount from the purchases that you make using those links will go towards the betterment of this channel. So please check out the link in the description. So starting with pharmacology. So pharmacology is a subject where you will learn about various drugs that alter the pathophysiology of various systems of the human body for therapeutic gains and also about the various adverse effect caused by those drugs. So starting with the books, first book, the most essential book which is there in the shelves of every second year MBBS student in India is a book called The Essentials of Medical Pharmacology by K.D. Tripathi. Now this is a very well written book and the one book which is going to help you to clear your exams and build your concepts in pharmacology. A very very good book and you must definitely have this book. Talking about the second category of books, which is exam oriented book for pharmacology. The book which I'll refer you for this is Pharmacology for Medical Students by Shanbag. Now this book should be used only during exam time as the question and answer pattern which is covered up in this book will help you to write good answers for exam. But this book should not be used for developing concepts or understanding the theory part. KDT should be used for that. Use Shanbag only when it is the exam time and you need to uh, get a good grip over writing answers for the exams. Third, review book. Now, review book for pharmacology is called Review of Pharmacology by Spursh and GRG, a book written by two of my favorite teachers. Now, this book has many, many MCQs and has also covered various clinical aspects related to pharmacology. So this book will give you an overall approach towards understanding and applying the knowledge which you will gain from your textbooks and resources that you will use. So this book is a must have for applying the knowledge in pharmacology. For extra readings, now for students who are particularly interested to go for exams like USMLE or PLAB, you should go for books like Goodman and Gilman and Katzunk. Now both of these books are amazing and are very well written and give you a very different and interesting perspective towards a very normal topic. So you should go for these books if you are interested in the subject and if you go for higher exams. So that's it for pharmacology. Moving on to our second subject that is pathology. Now, pathology involves studying the etiology, pathogenesis, molecular and biochemical basis of various disorders of the human body. So, 
the first book the gold standard book for pathology is robins and quadrants the pathological basis of disease by robins and quadrants now i want you to understand this point very carefully the prime target of your second year mbbs should be to cover both the volumes of this book every single line of this gold standard book will help you in developing concepts and building a firm base for the upcoming clinical subjects now although this book is more than enough but it sometimes becomes very difficult to understand the text and so as an additional book not an alternative book as an additional book to robins and quadrants you can start reading harsh mohan now harsh mohan is used by many students in india and they use it particularly for writing their exams even i don't have a physical copy of the book i use it on my ipad particularly when the exams are approaching so let me make this point clear again buy robins read robins develop concepts from robins and use harsh mohan as an additional book not an alternative book to robins now talking about the exam oriented book now for these books you need not to buy a physical copy the pdfs of these books are sufficient enough so first book is called exam preparatory manual for pathology by ramdas naik and the second book is called concepts in pathology by devesh mishra sir now both of these books are amazing the book by devesh mishra is a very good book particularly when it comes to the images of histopathology so uh, get the pdf of these books and use it when the exams are approaching now moving on to the review books now the review of pathology again by spursh is a very good book it has many questions and will help you in applying your knowledge now let us move on to microbiology the last subject microbiology so in microbiology you will be particularly learning about various bacteria various viruses fungi and all the other hospital acquired infections and parasites so in microbiology there are not many books but then there are two major books two major titles for the subject first is a book by anant narayan and second is the book by apurva shastri now i have personally found many students confused between which one to buy uh, either to go for anant narayan or should one go for apurva shastri and uh, with me what happened is i used both of them uh, in the first part of my second year i read anant narayan and then during quarantine time i i thankfully switched over to apurva shastri and apurva shastri proved to be an amazing read i loved reading the book so much that it is undoubtedly my favorite book for second year mbbs again this book comes in two volumes first volume covers the general microbiology then immunology bacteriology virology mycology and hospital acquired infections while the second book is entirely dedicated towards the study of parasitology so both of these volumes of microbiology by apurva shastri are amazing and i think you should go for apurva shastri rather than anant narayan so when it comes to microbiology there is a lot and a lot and a lot to cram and remember so i think you should definitely go for the review book as it will help you in actively recalling various bacteria and viruses and their properties when you answer those question and solve them uh, through your review book right so moving on to our last subject which is forensic medicine and toxicology let me be very honest in this i think the only single book which will help you to cover all the imps and all the concepts in fmt is synopsis by reddy i think you should not go for the big book uh, the synopsis of the book is enough and uh, again if you want to go for the review book there is a book by jamat sir and again it is a good book i have linked all the books which i have talked about in this video in the description you can check them out thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you soon in another video covering all the online resources and applications take care and happy learning